Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about USSE, and in particular, we're gonna talk about their small digital alarm clock. This thing has a USB port on the back, so you can put it on your bedside table and also charge your phone at the same time. That way you don't have to have two cords going all over the place and making a cord mess. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said digital alarm clock. After that, I'm gonna be putting this to the At Home with Lucas test, to figure out is this something you should buy or maybe skip altogether. I'm here for you so you don't have to waste your time buying and returning. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So up the top left, you have the name of the company, Ussy. This is an LED alarm clock. There's an image of what's to come in the box. Go green with Ussy, I like that a lot. This is a 4.6 inch LED display, nine minute snooze, 12, 24 hour, very cool. Uh, ooh, zero to 100% brightness. So this is their standard, this is what they do. They allow you to go completely dark and go as bright as day. So that is really, really cool, I like that a lot. Ooh, you got a USB charging port, very cool, all right. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a look at this clock. All right, you got the product overview right here. Very important to go through all of this so you understand how this thing works, all the different button pressing and whatnot. Let's take a look inside of this little pouch. Okay, so that looks like the same proprietary charging cable as the last USSE. Actually, that looks a little bit smaller. So these are common uh, power cables that you can probably find at your local, yeah, five volt right there. These are very common, uh, which is kind of cool, kind of annoying. I wish it was USB-C, but nonetheless, this thing has to pa send a lot of juice to the clock in order to power the USB port that's there. All right. Okay, ooh. <laughs> okay, make sure your dim knob is on high before plugging in the clock, otherwise we'll display blank. Okay, they must have had some complaints. People saying that their clock was not working because the dimmer was all the way on low and it probably looked like the display was broken. No, so turn it to high, there we go. All right, so there is their display right chair, looking really simple, really nice. There's the name of the company. This thing is absolutely feather light, just like their last alarm clock. That's a decent uh, snooze button. It's not raised up enough, and it's not as clicky as I would like, so I could imagine if you smacked it, you may actually hit right here and not actually get the snooze. So that's a little bit of a downfall a little bit of an <clears throat> annoyance right there but nonetheless it's clicky it's loud um, but it definitely seems like something that could cause you some trouble um, if you don't click it right so let's go ahead and walk around the back this looks like where all the fun stuff is happening there is your speaker that's gonna wake you up and do all kinds of stuff right chair you have your time set 24 hour alarm on and off alarm set alarm sound those buttons are nice and clicky and they're actually really they feel like they're designed yeah they're designed for you to actually be able to hit them from the back or I should say the front um, so that's kind of cool there is your USB port right chair power port and your volume so this is just very smooth there's no clicks um, and there's no click for max volume and there's no click for volume all the way off so this is where you're gonna have to customize it to fit your own needs and hope that your kids if you should have some do not come over and start to turn this like my toddler will do if he gets his hands on it um, take a look at the bottom so you have two uh, rubber feet at the bottom and then it looks like you have your battery. There we go. So three AAA batteries to power this thing up if the power should go out in your house or maybe you just don't want to plug this in and you want to go really wild with it. Um, or maybe you're traveling and you just want to run it off batteries. That could work as well. You can put this in your hotel room and know that you're going to wake up to the device that you know the best 
All right, so yeah, very lightweight, um, feels pretty cheap, uh, a little bit flimsy, I would say, um, and uh, yeah, we won't know until we power this thing up how the display actually works so uh, and how it all functions. I'm excited. Hey guys, I want to take a quick minute to talk about the sponsor for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Don Pablo Coffee makes an amazing variety of coffee from bourbon infused coffee to whole bean to fresh ground coffee. You can find a perfect cup of coffee from them each day, every day. I absolutely love their coffee. Their bourbon infused coffee. It is a cup of coffee that is unlike anything on the planet. Buy some of their bourbon infused coffee today. Give it as a gift. Drink it as you your daily driver it is absolutely amazing also this company is eco-friendly they're for the planet they are not putting a hurt on the rainforest they're not putting a hurt on this planet so when you drink a cup of don pablo coffee you're getting a guilt-free cup of coffee Woo! that is absolutely amazing everything nowadays has a little bit of guilt tied to it but this cup of coffee is going to be amazing it's going to taste so fresh it's going to be perfect. They're a small batch coffee roaster, which means they don't roast giant amounts of coffee in giant contraptions. They roast them in a smaller roasting contraption, which means you're gonna get a fresher bean, people. Fresher beans are the way to go. All right, click the links down below, buy some of their coffee today, and let's all enjoy an amazing cup. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the display. So the display is actually really, really nice. At night, when it's really dark in your room, you're gonna be able to read this crystal clear even at the lowest, lowest possible uh, brightness setting. But once again, I just reviewed this um, alarm clock by them. I have to say that I wish they would put an auto brightness because what happens is if you turn the brightness down for nighttime, <laughs> then when you come into the daytime, you're not gonna be able to read your clock. And I don't know about you, but when it's dark in the morning, I wake up, I get out of bed, and I go about my day, and I come back in the room, and I can't read the clock. So I'm not one of those people that wakes up and goes over and turns up the brightness. Um, so that is a huge, huge downfall for all of these um, inexpensive alarm clocks. Other than that, everything else is phenomenal. But um, yeah, take that into consideration if you're someone who doesn't want to have to wake up and turn up your brightness every single morning, then you're gonna wanna skip this one entirely. Okay, now let's talk about all of the different alarm sounds because there's a decent amount. I'm just gonna go through them and then we'll talk at the very end. Okay, so when you do finally set your alarm, it shows up like that right there. Um, I really like how the button in the back has an alarm clock on it, it's so cool. So you can actually feel that when you're going and hitting the alarm button. So it's real, real simple, real straightforward. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and set the alarm. Okay, so the alarm is really cool. I like how it slowly turns up the volume and at the very end it goes into manic mode where it just completely beeps out of control. That is really, really cool. The snooze is great. It's big enough that you can pretty much hit it um, from no matter where you are and it doesn't feel like you're gonna destroy your alarm clock, so that's really cool. And then the ability to just turn off your alarm real fast is also great. Once you learn the few buttons on the back, you're gonna figure out all of it real simple, real easy. It does pump out enough juice to charge your device overnight, so that is really, really cool. If you plug your phone in or your tablet or whatnot, 
you're going to be able to get your device fully charged without having to send your cable all the way around to a wall outlet. Okay, so I've been using this thing for long enough that I think I have a full comprehensive review and I have to say this thing is really nice. It's extremely lightweight. It fits pretty much anywhere. The display is very vivid and detailed and you can see pretty much everything you need to see at night or during the day. The only downflaw, like I've already talked about, is the fact that there is no auto dimming. So if you have it down at a low setting at night for sleeping, when you wake up, it's going to still be at that setting and you're not going to read your clock at all. So it's, it's kind of a real, real disappointment. Um, but other than that, everything else is great. Highly, highly recommended. I'm going to give this thing a solid 4.1 star rating. And I'm going to say that this is a great, uh, cheap um, digital alarm clock. And it's going to do its job. Love how quickly you can turn the alarm on and turn it off. Very easy to see. And then, of course, the big, giant snooze button at the top is phenomenal and then the usb port in the back does its job so you can plug things into here and get them charged up overnight so definitely highly recommended to anyone out there who doesn't want a wi-fi uh, smart um, alarm clock wants something very simple very straightforward with a giant display this thing is big enough for people who even have slight eyesight problems they're going to be able to read this no problem but once again you will have to manually adjust everything down here and then of course you have the volume rocker on this side so you can turn up the volume the volume is very loud so you're not gonna you're not gonna um sleep in this thing is going to wake you up and i love the fact that it goes into hyper mode towards the end of the alarm that is very cool so highly recommended to everyone out there um definitely worth your your money uh yeah buy it All right, there you go. That's the USE Digital Alarm Clock. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click it and clack that like button. And if you wanna join the Adam Home with Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 3K. Yes, people, on my way to 4K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.